So, this is gonna be a bit of a different video to what you normally expect from this channel. Because normally I'm all about doing the big gadget and gaming reviews and going hands-on with some of the latest tech. But I've had to pause the schedule just to talk to you about this. Because if there is one thing that iOS users have been clamoring for, it's Xbox no. Cloud Gaming, formerly known as Project yeah. X Cloud. And as of yesterday, the 20th of April, we got our answer in the form of a cloud gaming beta available for iOS devices and web browsers. And I thought I would give you a first look and just some very quick first impressions on what my experience has been like using the beta. Let's get into it. Hey up and welcome to New Rising Media, your home of hands-on reviews and gloves off opinions about tech and gaming. I'm Jason England, all-round nerd journalist, and I thank you right there for taking the time out of your busy day to check out this video. Cheers. So yeah, I'm kind of spoiling what the next video will be about around here, so pretend you can't see this bit. <laughs> but I just had to talk to you all about the cloud gaming beta on iOS and my experience using it, because it's something that a lot of people have been clamoring for as Android users have been streaming their Xbox games for a good long while now. And obviously the history of getting Xbox game streaming to an iOS device has been quite a turbulent one over the past few months. From Apple just flat out saying no to Microsoft making a dedicated app to that weird bit in the middle where Apple said they had to approve every single game that goes onto Game Pass Ultimate to now where Microsoft have created a browser-based game streaming workaround. And I've tested this not just on my iPhone 12 Pro, but also via a browser on my MacBook, which I'm gonna show you what my experience has been like and give you some general first impressions. And before I do so, I just absolutely need to say, this is just a beta. It's not finished work yet. And I have complete faith that Microsoft are working on a few of the kinks that I've spotted during my time playing on this, which I will tell you about. So obviously take any latency issues I come across with a bit of a pinch of salt because they'll probably be fixed by the time you get to play the finished version. So here we are with the Xbox Cloud Gaming Beta on iOS. This is running on an iPhone 12 and I'm playing this using the Backbone One controller. You can use on-screen buttons, but you absolutely need game controller buttons for stuff like this. I've actually reviewed this on my channel. You can watch that using the eye above this controller, round about here-ish somewhere. So anybody's used to the tile-based interface on an Xbox will be used to this. Let's dive into some GTA 5, shall we? So my experience using this so far has been a tale of two halves. It's been a 90% working just fine. There's been some legitimate hiccups here and there with some um, networking issues where the stream wasn't able to keep up with it. The game will just stop entirely and then start again a few seconds later when I've crash into a wall with my car and there's been those other moments where the latency of your gameplay input has just been a little bit behind causing inputs to feel quite laggy but for the vast majority of the time once the stream starts to get going it's very similar to what android users are experiencing as well but once the stream gets going and it settles into a regular data bit rate the latency has been absolutely fine for me to use. It's been great, not just on Wi-Fi, although on Wi-Fi you are more certainly going to get a better experience, but also on 5G. On mobile networks it's not necessarily as reliable as I found it on Wi-Fi, but it's been it's been good. It's also been pretty mind-blowing to go and play Forza Horizon 4 while I'm out and about. This is going to be a great way to not only kill some time, but a great way to introduce people to the Xbox ecosystem. iOS gaming is about to take another massive step forward beyond Apple Arcade. And here we are on the browser-based version. I'm using Google Chrome and I've connected my Xbox controller via Bluetooth to this. Just so you know as well, you get access to your full Xbox Game Pass Ultimate library available to stream via the cloud. And while some games are available with touch-based controls, on iOS devices, you need to have a controller connected to play on a browser, whether that's on Mac OS or on Windows. I'm just gonna go on I'm Too Young to Die because it turns out I am terrible at video games. <laughs> and as you can see, a bigger screen experience on something like this compared to an iPhone looks a little better. There's still the latency issues present here and some of the buttons don't work sometimes. So for example, sometimes analog stick presses don't work but on the main hand it's been a perfectly fine experience and it's been a great time me being able to play this while the missus watches bake off so that is your first look at the xbox cloud gaming beta on ios and web browsers 
the fact that it is now widely available in the beta, I would go ahead and make the prediction that it should be seeing a full public release in the next month or two based on what happened with the xCloud beta for Android users, streaming all of your Xbox Game Pass games on the go, being able to play stuff like GTA 5 and Doom Eternal on your mobile phone while you're out and about. It is bonkers and yeah there's latency issues there's lag there's odd crashes where you disconnect it's not perfect in any way shape or form but there's a lot to be excited about here and given this comes in xbox game pass ultimate i'd say it's worth the price of admission alone so what do you think are you excited about xbox cloud gaming on your iphone your ipad or any device really via a browser go in and let me know in the comments and as always like if you enjoyed this video, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.